Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2018 Subaru Outback. This one is a very, very nicely loaded 3.6R Limited model. As you can see, it's finished off in a gray exterior, which looks fantastic on the vehicle. This is a very nice, clean auto check, one owner local trade-in. But outside, as you can see, you do have your typical Outback cladding down below, which runs along the bottom, your Outback badge right there. Body colored mirrors with your auto dimming mirrors, as well as your little light up Subaru logos up there. You can see your turn signal indicators built in, some chrome trim around the windows, as well as your body colored door handles, which do have intelligent entry built in. You can see too, you do get tinted rear privacy glass on the limited models. Up top, your radio antenna, as well as your roof rails with crossbars and a sunroof on this one. And around the rear, you can see your cladding, as well as your Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive, and Outback 3.6R badges, rear backup camera, and parking sensors, of course. And in typical Subaru fashion, like I said, you have your cladding, as well as the plastic trim on the bumper to protect it loading things in and out, and your trailer hitch down below installed on this one. Fuel cap is on the passenger side. Typical Subaru fashion, just make sure it's unlocked. Walk up. It can be released from inside of the vehicle. And down below, this one is riding on a brand new set of Nexen tires. They are 225, 60, R18s. So you have 18 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes, of course. And they're the nice, pretty, dark finished wheels. But yeah, like I said, brand new set of tires all the way around on this one. Everything follows through on this side. You can see new tires up front as well. And you do have your LED accented HID headlights fog lights down below and then up top you can see since this one is equipped with the eyesight package all of your sensors and everything up there go ahead and get inside this one does include your typical Subaru intelligent entry fob lock unlock panic and then press and hold and it will release the trunk so as you can press on the back of the key and it will release your physical key fob go ahead and close that just like that. And as I said, this one is equipped with intelligent entry. Just walk up to the door handle, have the key fob with you, and grab to unlock, and then touch right here to lock. Go ahead, step inside of this one. Inside, as you can see, this one does have the black leather interior. You can see your Subaru door sills down below, which still have the original factory plastic on them inside this one's in fantastic shape all weather floor mats down below as well to start foot on the brake and press right here you can hear that beautiful six cylinder noise these make when they start up go ahead and close the door and just have the key fob inside of the vehicle and you're all good to go inside this one does have a leather wrapped steering wheel your audio system controls on this side, adaptive cruise controls on this side, which, as I mentioned, this one has the eyesight package. You have different controls down below for the center display, like I said, audio system, and then paddle shifters on the back of the wheel for the CVT transmission this one is equipped with. Drive, manual mode, and reverse. It does have a rear backup camera. On the door, it's all padded material up top. You have your wood grain right here. Pulls padded stitched leather on the door and padded stitched leather on the armrest. Both of your front windows are automatic, otherwise you have your power mirrors, power locks, all of that over here. Storage down below. Over here you have your power tailgate controls, your power tailgate memory, as well as your gauge dimmer controls right there. Traction control on and off, blind spot monitoring on and off, as well as your lane departure warning and then forward collision warning. Dashboard itself, all nice soft padded stitched leather all the way across you can see the stitching there and around here it's a very very nice touch in the, in the limited I just love the way it looks in the center you can see your headlight controls right there they are automatic as I mentioned and fog lights trip reset and then your tachometer speedometer and then center display right there which as I said these controls down below let's go through a lot of the different things your distance to empty time things like that you can see down below, this one has just under 45,000 miles on it. In the center, two air vents up top, and then you have your typical Subaru Starlink system. Very nice, simple to use. You have your home screen, 
Everything else right there can bring up the map for your navigation, all of that. Going back to the radio, this one is equipped with the Harman Kardon audio system from the factory, which sounds fantastic. I always, I love this system in the Subarus. It really does pack a punch. Told you about when. Like I said, great sounding audio system, AM, FM, um, CD, auxiliary in, satellite radio, Bluetooth audio streaming, all of that. It's very, very nice, simple to use. Going back to the home screen, you can see all your different settings, apps, things like that, Bluetooth phone controls, bring back the map, everything else. And you have more t um, capacitive touch controls over here and your scroll. Right here, do have heated seats for the driver and passenger. They are three stage on each side as well as dual zone automatic climate control. You can adjust it from right here, set your temperature, anything like that. And the side is individually adjusted. More of the controls around there, auto, your fan speed, defrost, and everything else. Storage, underneath of this cover, your USB ports, auxiliary in, and a power outlet. This is nice and rubberized inside too. Two cup holders back here, as I showed your shifter for the CVT. Storage, your electronic parking brake, X mode on and off, and hill descent control. Padded armrest in the center, storage inside of there. Have this removable compartment as well. Seats, typical Subaru, very, very nice, high quality leather. They're very comfortable and in great shape. As you can see, you have the perforations in the middle and all of that. Sunroof up top, as well as all of your interior lighting controls. There are LED sunroof controls, and then your more lighting controls right there. Sunglasses container. And your frameless rear view mirror right there, which looks fantastic. It also is auto dimming. You have your garage home link built into the bottom and compass up top. Like I said, this one is equipped with eyesight. Go ahead, driver's side, automatic window down, unlock all the doors. You can see your power seat memory on the door as well. And pop the hood right there. Typical Subaru fashion, your fuses, as well as OBD port are behind that panel. Go ahead and step into the rear seat. Everything follows through on the door material quality wise up top. Then you have your wood grain and padded stitched leather storage. And the back seats in this vehicle do fold flat. Just drop down right there. But stepping in, I am six foot two. I comfortably sit behind myself, no problem at all. You have back seat pockets on each side, as well as down here. You get two USB ports as well as your heated seat controls for the rear passengers, which are two-stage on and off. Air vents. You can see your handles up top, as well as your interior lighting in the center. And right here, this one of course is equipped with an armrest. It does fold down, two cup holders, all of that. And in typical Subaru fashion, your child locks are built into the door right there. Inside the trunk, as I said, it is power on this one. As you can see, this one does include all of your carpeted original floor mats right here. As well as, like I said, it does include a set of all weathers. See, it also does have the all weather trunk mat installed. These are your Subaru OEM mats. One of my favorite parts too is you do get the plastic backing on the back of the seats with this mat so it can protect those when you load things in and out or when you have them folded down. Different tie downs, things like that on the side, as well as your back seat releases. Just pull, and they will fold flat just like that. So it'll give you an idea with the seat up versus with the seat down. Also do have the subwoofer for your Harman Kardon audio. Everything else follows through on this side as you can see, same release. And then below here, you have some more storage, your spare tire, and everything else under there. And to close, just press. Back seat from this side, everything follows through. Pop it back up. Same goes for right here. 
And you also do have back seat releases built in right here that do the same thing. Up front, power passenger seat in the Limited. See your door sills down below on this side, as well as the all-weather mats. And inside of here, this one does include all of your original owner's literature, everything like that. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised if the window sticker was somewhere in there. Like I said, this has been a very, very well-maintained car. And up front, you can see your HID headlights, LED uh, daytime running lights, and fog lights down below, as well as under the hood. This one being a 3.6R Limited, of course is equipped with Subaru's 3.6 liter boxer six cylinder, or horizontally opposed. And these Alpacs are an absolute blast to drive with this engine. Plenty of power. Close that. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Cut the vehicle off right here. Move the key. And headlights back into auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond, here in Richmond, Virginia. If you aren't in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.